Nicole Nightfall is a ghost chaser, witch, and paranormal investigator. Like others who are drawn to spooky places, there are moments when the fun of a paranormal investigation crosses the line into pure terror. Nicole's tale features a Japanese shaman and a dangerous spirit. Her experience unfolded at the haunted Shanley Hotel in Naponic, New York. Now here's Nicole Nightfall with The Spectral Serial Killer. So I'm Nicole Nightfall. I'm a paranormal investigator and also a psychic uh, channel. Um, Do a lot of regular posting on my investigations, but there is one location that I swear is the most haunted I've ever been to. And I know you're doing an event there and Mm -hmm. you know which one it is in Napanock that I'm going to say. The Shanley Hotel. If you live locally, you need to go there. Mm. It is every time I've been there, the evidence is off the chain. Like Mm. those spirits there are ready to party. Um, (laughs) And like I was going there before they opened up the third floor. Now that the third floor is open, it's like a whole other level of stuff. They have a Ouija board painted on the floor. Like Kelly's just like, let's do this. We're haunted. Um, So we're up. I go up there. It's last time I was actually there. Actually, no, I was there once before in the morning. But anyway, I was there filming and I brought, I was like, let me bring the most amazing practitioners I know. So I have uh, my friend with me who's a practitioner, and I also brought an espetista who's been doing this for 40 years, mm-hmm. and one of the last Japanese shamans who, mm-hmm. if, you, if you've never seen them work, oh my God, and it's like pretty sacred and secret what they do. So what he has is a whole, like, it looks like a bow and arrow. It's like a small instrument that he plays to call on spirit, control spirit. He could do exorcisms with it. He could do anything with this bow, depending on the tempo and the chant that he's doing. So we are up on the third floor. Uh, there is a serial killer spirit there named Adam that they claim is there. I am not sure if this is if this is true or somebody impersonating this character that seems to be kind of like created to me. I can't really tell. But anyway, he is dangerous in my opinion. Or he can be. Uh, so we're up there and we're sitting there and we've been there the whole night. And all of a sudden, you know that feeling if you're a paranormal investigator, it gets like... You can hear a pin drop, even though the equipment's going. It's like that feeling that something has entered the chat and something did enter the chat. And I say, he's threatening a car accident. He's going to hurt somebody. He's going to go home with somebody and like really mess with their car and try to hurt us. And they agree. They're getting the same stuff. So my Japanese shaman friend, he's like, well, we're not going to like exercise and get rid of it because we can't. And one, it's like kind of like bad form to do that at somebody's location. Right. So he's like, what I can do is trap it in the floor. It'll be there for four weeks. So he attempts to trap Adam in the floor. He's doing the whole thing. He taps on. I have footage of this. It's like, it's wild. He's putting him in the floor. He's putting him in the floor. So we leave. Everybody's fine. I have mutuals on TikTok from the UK who are paranormal investigators. Um, They're very, very popular. They have like 2 million followers. Like they got a huge following. Like thousands of people watch their stuff. So they go live at this location (laughs) and they're in Adam's room. And the guy sits where the Japanese shaman sat, where he's on the floor. And he all of a sudden jumps up and he goes, something grabbed my ankle. And he starts screaming because he said, I feel the fingers, bro. You know, he's like doing the whole bro talk, right? (laughs) So the guy that's with him tends to be an aggressor, like Zach Bagan's 2010 sort of picture that. Like he's saying, hurt me. If you're so big and bad, you're going to hurt me. Like do it now. He's calling him out. He's screaming at him. He has long hair that's in a ponytail. On camera, this happens. You see the hair tie come out and his hair wow. falls wow. down on his face. Uh, he, and I've been watching these guys a while. Like I'm friends with them. I don't agree with everything they do. I think we all love people. We know that we don't, but when I support them, they're, they're fun, you know? Um, and they mean no harm, but um, that humbled him very quickly. And they flew home to the UK and none of this is in their final cut for their YouTube channel, which I find very interesting. Uh, they have the hair part, but the part I warned them in chat, I was like, guys, He's trying to hurt somebody. So I was like, you better be careful. I said, car, you know, car accident or whatever. This guy who got his hair pulled had something really bad happen with his car and he almost got to a car accident. So ever since then, I've noticed he's like, he's still a little bit, but it humbled him. And maybe he needed, of course he was okay. Uh, but he, his car was like really messed up. He had spent a lot of money to get it fixed. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad he's okay. But yeah, some of these spirits, they don't play. So always be careful when you're going out, guys, make sure you're cleansing and doing your thing. So that's the one that stood up to me, that story, because it was just so intense and it's all like documented. So oh, wow. yeah. would yeah. you share for people listening or watching, what would you share a simple cleanse? Like, 
if somebody feels like they're in a house that's haunted or if they're going to maybe break and enter into like a cool abandoned property, what would you, what's something simple that a person can do? Would you simple? Well, I think you should always cleanse yourself before you go in. So spiritual baths are great. I love that you use river water, by the way. I've never heard another person use that because rivers carry away spirits um, and they're great for spiritual cleansing. So that with like a salt mixture would be a great simple one. Um, I use like uh, the ghost chaser herb as well. There's a whole bunch of different types of herbs. Rue especially is great. So make a little spiritual bath mixture with that. Um, you can mark yourself with cascadilla, which is like an eggshell powder. Um, but a really good one to do too, to make sure nothing really jumps into your car. I actually mark the tires with either like holy oil or water. And I put like a cross on each one and I go like clockwise and I say a little prayer as I go around. Uh, because they love to like, they're like, and don't ever walk to a straight path into your car. Walking like a zigzag, almost like you're drunk. Because spirit will try to follow the energy trail. Serpent <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So I always tell people, it's like, we're not going the same direction, guys. We're breaking up. And usually that's after they're all freaked out. And they're like, thanks, she didn't warn us. And I'm like, you'll be fine. We just got to go around the house and around. And through the, like Hinsdale House, especially. It was like, we're splitting up for a while and walking. Because, oh my God, that location. I don't know if anybody's ever been to that one. Very dark. Very Ooh. dark location. Have you been? Well... Did you encounter the thing in the basement? Uh, the thing up on the floor near Mary's room is even worse. Well, I, than the I, 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 you were allowed. Uh, you were allowed um, one time on my birthday. I wanted to go to the Shannon because we'd already been there. Mm -hmm. So for my 60th birthday, we went in January. The third floor was freezing, but we had the usual events and what. We went to the basement. It was just me and Helen. Mm -hmm. Now, me being stupid, I don't back down. And the negative entity that is in the basement comes, starts coming over the voice box mm -hmm. and he's calling us out. So I walk right up to that. There's like a ledge there, like where you pass the morgue and there's like an upper thing there. Oh, I know what you're talking And about. Kelly's like, the owner's like, look out, they're going to throw a rock at you. And I'm like, yeah, throw the rock. Yeah, yeah it's smart. <laughs> so I'm just antagonizing the spirit now. I'm going, go ahead. Go ahead. What do you got? You're weak. Oh. Uh, and Kelly's going, Jim. Cool. And I'm like, oh, I don't back off of anything. I, I, when I die, I'll see you. <laughs> oh, I got you. I, I'll see you, pal. And because I'm stupid. <laughs> that was so I go, I go back and, and the voice pops. No, no interference. No nothing. Straight out. Yelling. Ooh, ah! And the play wow. and the <laughs> goes And then what was amazing was two or three other voices started to come through. It was like I actually beat up the bully. Mm. So now I'm feeling good about myself. I'm like, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. My type is against the kindergarten. I got you. So I go back a few months later for like a caster type event. Mm. And they split us into three. And of course, now, again, I am stupid that way. <laughs> I go to the group to the basement, and I go, you know, like, uh, you know, all the guys, I'm bad. Oh, Jack Nicholson, I'm bad. You know? <laughs> so I brought Sage to cleanse myself. And they did the tea readings and stuff. And I was just like, you know, I got to get home. And I live across the other side of the Never Sink Reservoir. Sasha knows where, where we live. We live about 20 miles from the uh, Shannon at the BCD follow 55 and keep going. So I get in my truck and I forget to say to myself. And I forget to do the, you're not welcome. I get on the road and I'm about a mile from the Shannon. And like I said, sometimes we're somewhat sensitive. I don't think, I know there's somebody in my back seat. And I'm looking in the mirror, and I can I can't see it, but I it's like a weight is on me. It's like a hatred. There's I a have a question for you. There's did you open the box? Did you yeah. uh, did you see the encounter the haunted object that is now the Shanley Hotel that's in the black box? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. But I'm going to be very. I don't but I'm going to be very humble when I do. <laughs> yeah. But it, what I did was I said screw it. And I know, I know, I got to get over that reservoir because that's the that's what my only option. And I just I said, screw it, man! I get pulled over, I get pulled over. I'm, like, yeah. I'm 55, and as soon as I got over that body of water, you know, and I you know I hit the water, and I'm like, now get out! And 
all of a sudden the weight, the air was fresh and clean and gone. So there's a warning in that. Don't be stupid like me. That way. <laughs> and always cleanse yourself coming out of it. I think the bones in that building are just like haunted and there's a lot of crystals in the ground in that area too which people don't like to talk about too but you know ports especially is an amplifier yeah um, you know I used to go there with the radio yeah. too in the morning at like eight o'clock nine ten in the morning stuff's popping off like none of that would be fake when we'll be on the radio especially at the sham because it's like you turn on the box and all yeah. like, especially in the bordello like they love to talk through yeah, the box there was a oh, bordello yeah. there too that's where the uh, mm -hmm. uh, what happened was the black black not really a slave, but it was a black man mm -hmm. who they were pretty, when they, after they were free, you know, he was pretty much still a slave man. Anyway, he got involved with one of the white prostitutes, and the town stuff didn't like him. Because you know what things were in the 1800s. Right. So he got lynched. But there is, there's also, like, like I said, there's also very nice stuff. It's just something that over the history of that place that just, they're trapped there for some reason. It's like or either want to stay yeah, or, they or, yeah. or they're just they're just there. They're just there. Yeah. So there's tragedy, there's uh just people that just passed away in love with place. Mm -hmm. So it goes through the yeah. yeah, it goes it goes from, you know, tragedy and horror like the Jews to the no, little girl and the little girl to like people just passing away simply, but they're just mm -hmm. lifelong yeah. members of yeah. All right, well thank you guys. Thank okay. you. So Tonight's live Ghost Stories by the Fire episode was recorded at the Light Club Curiosity Shop in Warwick, New York. The Light Club Curiosity Shop is a metaphysical, healing, and artistic haven. They offer handmade magical items, healing sessions, and unique events in their 8,000 square foot space. The Ghost Stories by the Fire theme song, Lovely, comes from the breakout hit horror movie, The Deeper You Dig by The Addams Family. The Deeper You Dig is an edgy, heartfelt ghost story that will haunt you long after it ends. Watch it now for free on Tubi. And thanks for listening to a live Ghost Stories by the Fire episode. If you like these creepy tales and want to keep them coming, please follow the Ghost Stories by the Fire podcast and drop a nice review. You can watch video recordings of Ghost Stories on my Sasha Tarot Diva YouTube channel and find out how you can attend a live Ghost Stories by the Fire event by going to my website event page at sashagram.com. Do you have a story, a spooky one you'd like to share with me? send me an email through my website contact page at sashagram.com. Thanks again for listening. <laughs>